so what you see is depending on how high the water got here it's I'd say four feet in some of the other areas it depended on how much water got into the building. Superintendent Dr. Christopher Bernier took the media and school board members on a tour of school campuses hit hardest by Hurricane Ian. This is a huge project. Their first stop was Lexington Middle School in South Fort Myers, where flooring has been removed and walls have been ripped out due to flooding damage. Well, walking around the school and knowing what it used to look like, because my grandchildren went here, um, it is quite disturbing, but there's hope there. Uh, the walls are being cut and it looks like uh, we're getting back to normal. To see the amount of damage, to see the amount of casework that's been removed, to go into a gymnasium and see the entire maple floor torn out. Um, gives them a very good perspective as to the amount of damage our buildings have incurred and what it's going to cost to bring us back. At Hector A. Caferrata Elementary School in North Cape Coral, we saw hallways completely gutted and classrooms a long way off from hosting students. The contractor came in and removed that vinyl wall covering to stop the propagation of any, any mold that needed to be stopped. They also visited Diplomat Middle and Gulf Middle in Cape Coral, two schools also hit hard by the storm. Progress is being made thanks to the crews doing their parts to help students get back in their buildings. You know, it's a long project back, but I'm explaining to a community who knows that. Um, there are countless individuals who have been impacted by wind and water. Our school buildings are no different, and we're working very hard to get them reopened. I'm Adam Hodgest with Lee Schools TV.